Welcome to the Old Lumens channel again. Um, I've done a couple of videos about this rework station that I got from Team Art, and uh, I said I wasn't going to do a video about uh, hot air reflow. But of course, you know, I changed my mind. Um, I've never done hot air reflow before. I've never used uh, solder paste before. Uh, I've just done old school with 6040 solder and a regular soldering iron. Uh, so this is a new experience. So I want to say up front, you know, this isn't necessarily the way you should do it. It's just uh, me sort of uh, doing some fact finding and figuring out. Now, I decided, you know, I'll go to YouTube and I'll watch a bunch of videos. So I did. I watched a bunch of videos. What I found out was that everybody does it differently. Um, some people put solder paste. Uh, I have this. I have this little tiny board here that I'm going to put some. 7135 ships on and uh, anyway some people put solder paste on the board beforehand um, some people uh, put flux on the board then put the components on then put solder paste over top and then do it uh, some people uh, put solder place on solder paste on it first and then go ahead and melt it, reflow it on, then put the components on and reheat it again uh, with uh, flux on, you know, on top of that. So what I've found is that, you know, basically it all works. I mean, it all worked in every one of the videos I watched. So uh, the solder paste that I have is I went ahead and bought some uh, from Team Art. It's, I'm sure it's made in China. It's called Best and uh, solder paste it's uh, uh, 6337 um, when I got it and I'm sure it already has flux in it I, I have no doubt when I got it it was uh, like in a ball in there uh, and um, it was hard as a rock or not hard as a rock but I mean it was a lot harder than I thought solder paste would be well I mixed it up so now it's uh, pretty tacky and uh, pretty easy to to work with. I just took and mixed it all up. The other thing I got was I got uh, another container which also says solder paste uh, but it's not <laughs> it's flux okay I bought a container of flux so that I could uh, use that as well because I am going to flux things I just can't help it. Uh, so anyways I'm going to get together together my components here and I'm going to try my hand at uh, playing around with solder paste and hot air reflow. All right, so back to it again. I have uh, I have this little board um, in my vise and the leather jaws, and I have some uh, solder paste here, and I have uh, a little paintbrush. I'm going to try it with a little paintbrush and see what happens. Like I said, this is a don't don't take this as a gospel at all because I have no clue what I'm doing. I can tell right now that the paste really is very hard to get to get any paste on the brush you know and I'm w worried that it's not going to stick uh, too well to the board but I'm going to see what happens um, looks pretty messy to me and it looks like it sticks on everything except for the where I want it to um, I can see that being a problem and I can see the brush being a problem, so I've got to look for a different approach. Okay, so, you know, I've tried a couple different little tools here. I've, I've ended up uh, start using a little pick. And uh, what I see happening is that uh, it doesn't stick. It does not stick to the uh, contacts, the, the pads themselves. But it does stick to the masking really well. Uh, so right now, you know, I'm sort of at a, at a loss because I don't know how to fix that. I'm going to try using a little bit of, uh, um, uh, flux, uh, first of all, and see if that doesn't help stick the solder paste because the solder paste is not really sticking to any of the, of the surfaces that it needs to. It sticks to everything else right now, and I don't believe that's going to work. So we'll try something else. Okay, what I've come up with so far is uh, nothing's really worked too well as far as putting solder paste on the uh, board. Uh, but I have found that if I put solder paste on the chip 
and then put it on the board, it seems to work fairly well. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's, that, that's what I've come to now. I think part of this is because basically I, I bought a real cheapy paste. Uh, you know, I could have bought some real good expensive paste that comes in a, a, a tube uh, or a syringe, you know, where you squeeze it on and all that kind of thing. I, I probably should have done that, but I didn't do that. So uh, I'm going to do this and see what happens. And uh, I'll get these on here and then I'll uh, give this uh, hot air a try. Okay, so I've managed to get eight of the chips on there and uh, I have my gun ready to go. I have the temperature set at 400 degrees and I've chosen a sort of a, there's three nozzles and I've chosen sort of a medium sized nozzle. Um, and so I'm gonna let it get heated up a little bit here and uh, then I'm gonna see what happens? I, I've got the air set uh, at uh, between one, from one to eight. I've got to set about five, so it may blow the parts off, or it may not be enough air. I don't know. Like I say, I've never played with this, so I'm just wanting to see what happens. Oh, wow! Hey, that that works. I mean, that's pretty slick. I know you probably can't see it with a camera, but these little suckers are, oof, too hot, too hot. So maybe 400 is, is uh, too hot, and, and maybe uh, I should use more airflow, or see that? They say when it's, when it's too hot, well, then I should back off and try cooling down a little bit. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it down, I'm going to take it down to 350. Yeah, 355. All right, we'll see what that does there. Well, all right, let's see if I'm going to put this down here. And uh, that, that really does melt that solder fast. But it looks like some of them aren't uh, um, really covered very well. So I think I'm going to take and I'm going to add a little more of that solder to all of these pins on here. Okay, yeah, that's pretty warm. Um, and the smoke was most likely from the flux because you know the flux isn't even there anymore. I mean, the flux is gone. <laughs> that's that's pretty wild. Um, but I think I'll try a little bit more solder. Uh, and I can see. I mean, I know you can't see because I can't get close enough. I can't get macro shots. But I can see the little beads of solder, okay? So uh, I've turned my temp down to 350. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little more solder. Especially okay, memory card full, and I'm not sure where I left off. So all I was saying is that I, I did see some, some of the little tiny solder balls. I could actually see them in there. And uh, I'm going to try a little more solder on there and heat up again and see how, you see how it goes. Okay, so I've got a little more solder and a little more solder paste. Uh, or I mean a little more solder paste and uh, a little more of the flux, probably a lot more flux. I've, my temperature is now 350. I've left the, uh, well I'm, I'm going to raise the airflow up a little bit because I think I can. And then I'm going to put this back down here and see what happens. Yeah, I think the smoke is just the flux burning off. That's what it really looks like. It's just the flux burning off. It's a uh, it's a uh, no clean flux, which I can say I'm still going to clean it. Okay. So. All right, I've set my temperature at 340, uh, and I'm going to leave my airflow down a little bit right at 5. Out of a scale of 1 to 8, it's, I've got it at 5, and now it's cooling in the holder. Um, I see a lot of residue. I'm going to clean it up with alcohol, and then I'm going to try the other side.
Okay, so um, <clears throat> I've uh, gone ahead and uh, gotten all these soldered on here, and then I cleaned it with alcohol, and I went through with a meter, uh, an ohm meter, and did some checking. And you know, I found with these chips that that you can you can test them, and and by resistance you can sort of tell whether they're going to work or not because if they're at least uh, connected correctly um, uh, and making contact, uh, you get a certain ohm reading from them, uh, just about dead on. Uh, so I went and checked all of them. It looks like the legs are all working as they should, so I would say that's successful. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the other side of the board now. Okay, this time I, I put uh, solder and flux together. I put a little flux on my brush first and then a little solder on the uh, paste on the brush and just brushed it all over this board. I'm going to try that and see what happens. I've got my gun heating up here and uh, I've tried to get the camera a little closer. Probably get right in the way and I won't be able to use the camera to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm at 340 degrees now, still at a 5 setting on the airflow. So we'll see what happens with this. Maybe you can see it just sucks that solder right up inside. Appears to be doing pretty good there. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my gun up there, let it cool down, and then. Uh, I'll check it out and see if I need to put a little more solder on it. Okay, so that's about it. I've gotten uh, both sides of this board done. Um, it seemed to work fairly well. I certainly don't have the knack for it yet. Uh, but it, it really seems to be easier than I thought it would be. Uh, I think if I had some really good solder paste and some really good flux, I'd probably be... I think the flux worked fairly well, really. I think the solder paste is the biggest deal. Uh, and I think it's just too hard. It's hardened up in the jar, and uh, mixing some, some flux with it uh, made it a lot easier to handle. But I think probably the best thing is to use the fluxus, fluxus in the uh, tubes, uh, you know, in the syringes where you can just squeeze out a tiny bit. The only thing I hate about them is, you know, they say they're one time use only and you throw it away when you're done with a guy. You know, when you got all the, you know, 40 grams of stuff and then. You use a, a thirteenth of a gram for what you're doing. Why well, it's an awful lot of waste. But anyways, uh, I think that's about it. I ended up with a heat setting of 340 degrees and uh, 5.5 on the on the dial for the airflow. Uh, seemed to work well on these chips. Of course, with some other chips, it'll work differently. So, anyways, uh, that's my attempt, uh, my first attempt at reflow. Thanks for watching.